UX and UI navigation is crucial for having a great mobile app for AR. And I'll show you how I made mine. And so there's tons of different features for you to look at the how-to screens, look at the about page, which takes you to various websites. You could access the digital comic, which allows you to stay up to date with the web comic as it's released. Then you could do the how-to screen, which shows you how to use the app. And if you wanna buy merch, you could actually go to the website from the app with the click of a button. You could go to the AR world scene, which allows you to play with different characters from the AR webcomic. You could place the characters in AR and you can navigate them and interact with them like they're literally right in front of you. Next, you have the AR books and images where you have a download screen to check for updates. Then you have a DLC menu to download all the new AR experiences and experience AR right in your hand. Life goes up and it goes down. So on this video, I will show you how I designed all the app screens and the different scenes for my AR app, Island Fever Augmented Reality with the Unity Game Engine. And with this, we're really just focusing on designing scenes for mobile app interactions and navigation in Unity. At the end of the video, you will have an understanding of how to use Unity's UI tools to design scenes and menus for your mobile apps. How do you design an app UI with Unity? First, you brainstorm the different features you want in the app, you consolidate the features into a scene list, sketch out the designs for the scenes, then you open up Unity and create a folder for your scenes, create a scene for each design, set up the game view to portrait and split the view, prototype each scene design with UI elements by creating a canvas, set the scale with the screen size and change to 0.5, Add a panel to the background, add a image, change the color of the background and modify the image with the inspector, add buttons and resize the buttons and add the text. Duplicate the buttons, rename them and rename the text in the button. Lay out the buttons to match the sketch, compare the design with the sketch, repeat for the rest of the scenes and voila. You can now spruce it up by replacing the shapes with cool art you made in another program. So to approach the app design process, I was able to create this by following a bunch of simple steps. So I first started off with an idea. And then from that idea, I started to brainstorm those ideas into words, lists, and features. Once I had those as a list, then I moved on to the sketch and I just did a rough outline of what the features needed to have. What was it going to visually look like? It didn't have to be final. I just needed an idea so that I could actually visually design the thing. And then after I had that sketch, I went into the Unity game engine and I started that design. And that design allowed me to add different elements, build out a structure for the design and then create a template that I can later fun add functions to. And so the way it works is you start off with an app idea, you brainstorm, sketch, and design, and then that design you're able to add into an application. And so when the users open the application, they wanna have a, the ability to easily interact with the features that they expect to have in the app. And so the thing that you design is the thing that the users are going to directly interact with and it's going to impact their experience. If you have a good design, then that leads to happy users because they can easily do what they want and need in an app without the hassles. If you have a poor design, then that leads to a poor experience for the user and they won't be happy. If it has to be a chore for them to navigate the app, then they're probably not going to download it again. They're probably going to move it off their phone and they're probably not going to give you a good review. All that stuff will make all the work you've done to build this experience out all for nothing. And so it's essential to have a good app design and following these simple steps is just a plan and a roadmap that allows you to implement into your creative process and also create something that is usable for everybody. If they can't use it, then what's the point of having it? 
So now it's time to apply what we learned with an activity. The goal is to design a menu screen and scene with Unity UI tools. And the key steps are brainstorming different features you want in the app, consolidating those features into a scene list, sketch out the design for the scenes, create a scene for each design, and then prototype each scene design with UI elements. And that's buttons, icons, canvases, images, whatever you name it. So give it a try and post a reply in the comments and let me know how it goes. If you're not in a hurry, go ahead and join me as I work on this activity in real time. And so, in order for us to design an app screen, we kind of need to brainstorm some ideas and figure out what we actually want for our app experience and what stuff is actually involved in our app, right? So we want to just brainstorm different features that you want in our app. And that's just going to be the first thing that we do. We just do that with the bullet point list. It's really simple, really easy. And so we'll just say we want a main screen. And in that main screen, we have AR, we have digital comics. We have a uh, about page, maybe a how to screen. And then we want to also have, you know, the logo. We want to have uh, a background. And we also want to have buttons. And so now that we have this, this is just our brainstorm, right? Now that we have our brainstorm, just, you know, elements. I'll just give it a little heading. Uh, then we can consolidate these things. And so we'll just have a, a base feature list. And so we'll say uh, features. And with these features, again, we want to have our, our main screens, main menu. We'll say AR, scene. We'll say about scene. And we'll have a how to scene. And with my AR app, with the digital comics, I actually don't have a digital comic scene. And so what I'll call this one is hyperlinks. And that will be digital comics. Because I want the I want the app to go to the digital comics that are on my website. And so having a hyperlink is great for that. And then ultimately we'll have like buttons. So buttons and those buttons go to different scenes. So scenes, hyperlinks, and close. So you could see that with the different buttons that we have there. And then for each one of these, we're going to have, you know, back, ground, logo, buttons, and that's pretty much it for, for the main screen. So with our, our AR scene, we'll have buttons and background and then for about scene we'll have uh, text buttons and background and then obviously the how to scene there'll be text buttons We'll have some images, so images, and a background. And so this is pretty much our, our features list that we have. So we have our different elements that we want, and there's just main elements, just to brainstorm. And then we have our main features that we want to include and integrate into it. And so now that we have our features list and we have our elements, we want to move on to our sketch. And with this, this is just a simple draw. And so we want a, a main menu. 
we want uh, AR scene. We want an about scene. And we want a how to scene. And this doesn't have to be, this doesn't have to be really crazy. You just need to make sure to uh, design something that, that really is gonna work for what you're looking for. Be short and quick because most of the stuff will be built out in Unity anyway. And again, this, is, this could just start off as a template and then move on to something more robust. So I'll just make just some templates. So, and I'll just copy and I'll just paste, paste, paste. So we'll have four scenes here, or four screens that represent scenes. So AR scene, and then we want our about scene, and then obviously we want our how to scene. Like that. And so with the main menu, we want to again have our logo. So we'll have our logo up the top, then we'll have some buttons. And so I'll have, you know, button one, and I'll just copy and paste these. Two, three, and I'll just make this a little smaller. Because again, we want to have a button for each. Element. And so we have our main menu and it's going to go to our AR scene, our about scene, uh, how to scene, and then we're going to have one for digital comics. And so with the AR scene, we'll have a couple of buttons as well. So button there, button there. And so one will be our back button. And then the other one will be our, um, you know, start our AR scene. So start AR, essentially. And so with this, we could actually have it to where it says start AR. Max, I'll start here. So we'll say this one is uh, AR. Then we have about. How to digital comics. Then we have close, right? And so AR scene, we have start AR, and then we have back. And then this one, we'll have just a back button. Actually, we could have a how to because you might want to know how to before you start it. So we'll have a how to button. And then for this button, the only thing we'll have is just a back. So about scene ha has just back. And then the rest of them have other ones. So that means that the AR scene will want to have another button right there. And it just has a, a background and it just has buttons. So we have that. So our background and our three buttons. And so then for the, the about scene, we have some text. So we'll just scribble some text. Boom, boom, boom as our text. And then we want a back button. So with our back button, I'll just copy a button here and I'll add that there like that. For about scene. So text and about and a back button. And then for how to scene, again, we want some text and then we want a back button. So boom, we have our back button, we have our text, and then we also want an image. And so we want to have an image up there. And so we'll have an image like this. And so we won't worry too much about the, you know, like linking the buttons and the hyperlinks. 
because we're just focusing on uh, designing the app. But for the most part, that's what we got. We got our, our brainstorm and our, and our consolidated list and our sketch. And now that we have our sketch, then what we're going to do is we're going to open up Unity and we're going to move on to designing all these different things. So with Unity open, again, we have our deep dives. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new folder. And I'm going to just say app designs. And I'll start and I'll create uh, a new scene. And so that scene will be main menu. Or yeah, main menu. And so with it, we have different scenes already, right? Our main menu, we have AR scene, and we have an about scene and a how to scene. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, different scenes for each one. So main menu, AR scene, about scene, and how to scene. Go ahead and duplicate, duplicate, and duplicate. And so we have AR scene. about and how to it's like that so we have our four scenes that we uh that we're going to design so i open up my scene so the first thing that i want to do is i want to go to free aspect where it says up here i want to change that to 1920 by 1080 portrait right there so portrait mode and then I'm going to actually move this game view over to the side so that I'm able to see my scene view and the display game view right here. So this allows me to navigate and see what's actually happening on my screen because I want to be able to look at what the screen will look like on a device and then also work in the navigation for this. And so the next thing I'll do is I'll create right click and create a canvas. And the canvas is essentially the game object element that allows me to uh, design stuff for my screen. And so anything that goes in this canvas is actually going to go and appear here. And so now that I have this main canvas, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change, keep it at screen space overlay, but instead of canvas slider being constant pixel size, I'm going to go through and say scale with screen size. And I'm going to make it on the X, the X is going to be the smallest, and so that's going to be 1080, and then 1920 will be the largest. And now I'm going to change this to 0.5, and this means that as the screen gets bigger, it's going to get bigger in the X and the Y direction at the same weight. If I had it lowered, then that means that the X and the Y are going to increase at different rates. And so now that I have that, I will essentially have my canvas here, I have my uh, game view, and I'm going to right click in the canvas, and I'm just going to have a panel. And the panel is essentially my background. So I'll call this background. We're saying we want a background, we want a logo, and then we want buttons, right? And so we'll literally just build that out. We have the background here, we'll have the buttons right here, and then we'll have the logo. And so we have our background, and so within our background, I'm going to right click again, and we're going to add an image. And this image will be our logo. And so with the background, again, we could change the color of it. So say we want a black background. We want it to be a little darker, and we want it to be more opaque. We could do that. And notice how when I add stuff to the elements here, it shows up right here. If I move it up, it moves up as well. So you could change the color and you could add whatever image that you want. Right now, we're just going to keep it very basic. Uh, but then we're going to also increase our image. So I'm just going to make it big, much bigger. And then I'm just going to lift it up. And so if you wanted to anchor your image to any part of the uh, the background you can by going to the rec transform. So I could anchor it to the left. I'll just move this to the side, anchor it to the left, middle, left top, left bottom, right bottom, right top, right middle, right? 
and if you pressed alt then you can uh, stick the actual element with its anchor and then if you want to have the transforms as well you could do that by pressing shift so shift alt and clicking and so I'll have it I'll have it at the top and then I'm actually just going to lower it down by negative 150 just like that so now I have my logo so it's time for the buttons and so the buttons what I'll do is I'll start with uh, regular buttons here so add a button and then I'm going to increase that button. So increasing it. And then I'm going to open the button, look at the text, and I'm also going to increase that. So I'm going to increase the font size to uh, 60. Just like that. And so the first button that we have obviously is going to be our Based off of our design, we'll have AR, about, how to, digital comics, and clothes. Right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, five buttons. So I'll just duplicate this five times or four times. One, two, three, four. Right? And so with it, I'll have AR. And so I'll have this button be above right there. Then we have about, so about, we have digital comics, we have how to, and we have close, like that. And so we'll go in and we'll just change the text. So we'll have AR about let's say comics for this one we'll say tutorial and last but not least we'll say close. And so now that we have those, what we're going to do is we're going to make a, a list of buttons, essentially. And so we'll have about, that'll stay there. Uh, digital comics, we'll drop that one down. And then how to, drop that down, and then close. We'll drop that down like that. And so now what we have is we have all of our buttons. We have the logo icon and everything that we need. So we have this logo, which is there. We have the icons, which are these icons here. We have our background as a background here, and it does all the things that we, it looks exactly how we want it to look. And that is how you design a menu screen. And so with it, you can design all the rest of them now that you have it. Don't forget to save, save your project, and you can move on to designing all the rest of the screens, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and design the rest of these. You could continue along, or you could uh, move on. So for our AR scene, let's go ahead and get that started. And so we'll pull up our, our AR scene here. And again, we want to have uh, we have three buttons, and then we have a background. So it's pretty simple. So again, we'll start off with canvas, and then from that canvas, constant pixels, change that to scale at screen size. That's going to be 1080 by 1920, and then we want to have this be 0.5. Then from there, we'll have a panel, and this will be our background. So 
up on the background. We'll just make it red. I like red, so I have a red background. And we don't have any logos, but we do have three buttons. So we'll have three buttons, which is start AR, how to, and back. So we'll just go right click, UI elements, and we'll have our buttons, and we'll say start AR, and then we'll duplicate it, and we'll say how to, and then duplicate it again, and we'll say back. And so we'll just go ahead and make these bigger. So we'll make these buttons around 300 by 150. Yeah, 300 by 150. And then for the text, what we can do is we can make the text 60. Like that. And so now we'll make the buttons. We'll have the back button be below, and then we'll have the start button be above. So actually, so back button is down. We'll have it down 300, and then we'll have the start button be positive 300, like that. So now we we'll say start AR. Say how to, and then we'll say back like that. And so that's our AR scene. And so we have an AR scene that looks very similar to our, our app design right there. Okay, the next one that we have is our about. And so our about is just going to have some text. It's going to have some button, have a button and a background. So text, button, and background. So we'll open it up. And so again, we'll start off UI elements, canvas, change it, scale with screen size, 1080 by 1920, 0.5. Then we're going to have a panel, call it background. And we'll have this one be blue. Might as well. And so with it, we want to have, uh, we want to have some text. So we'll add some text and we want to be able to see it. And so first things first is we will just make the width be around 800 so 800 for the width and then we'll have that be about 500 for the the height and then we want to lift it up so we'll lift it up to about 500 as well so 500 height and we'll make this be about 60 and we'll change the color so that we can see it to to that uh white and then I'll actually make it bold just cause. And so we'll just put dummy text. So I'll just put dummy text for our text block. So I'll just copy that a couple of times, but just like that. And say I wanted to just have it be aligned in the center, just like that. So we have our text, and so now what we want is our icon. And so we'll go with our button. Yep. So we'll get a button, boom. And again, we want this to be 300 by 150. And then within the button, we'll just call this back. And then the text, we'll call this back as well. And then we'll make it 60. And we'll just lower it down. We'll lower the whole button down by about 
200 pixels or negative 200 pixels like that so now we have our about page and so when you look at it, it looks very similar and so last but not least we have our how-to scene and so our how-to scene we'll do that we'll open it up with the how-to scene again we want we want an icon so we want an image we have a background back button and text and so we'll first start off again with a canvas and we'll just scale its screen size 1080 by 1920 and then have that be 0.5 and so after that we'll go through get a panel that will be a background and we will have this be green so now we're going to have logo we'll just use an image for that and so the image will be about 500 actually we'll have the image be 800 800 by 400 and we're just going to lift that up like that and we'll call that logo then we're going to have a text block because we want some text and so the width of that again will be 800 and we'll have that be about 400 and with the text block we want our words to be easy to see so we'll make it 60 and then we'll be center and in the middle and again I'll just add my dummy text just to fill the block out and I'll just lift it up slightly to 130 next we want our back button so again go to background right click and we want to add a button I'll make the button 300 by 150. Pull it back and go into it. And we'll call it back as well. And then we'll also change the text to 60. And so now that we have it, notice how it's a little off center. So what we'll do is we'll just drop it down again. So boom, make it a little bit better text. We'll move that, I guess, back to the center. Maybe a little lower. And then for the logo, we'll have that. And voila, we have our other menu. So as you can see, we have the how to scene. With that, the back button, the text, everything is working exactly how we want it to. And so with all three of those menus, we have the about menu, the AR scene, how to, and our main menu. That's just a base structure that you could build off of. If you have any designs that you would like to use uh, to add functionality to it, you could do that later. Uh, but if you want to make it aesthetically more pleasing than just having boxes and and text you could do that as well it's up to you i appreciate all my patreon supporters that have made this project possible and are continuing to support me and again if you want to get the project files for this project go ahead and join my patreon and if you haven't already go ahead and join the discord because there's a lot of cool stuff a lot of cool conversations and that is the best place to reach out to me and Help me build this wonderful creative and art tech community. If you like this and other videos, definitely join my Patreon to download the project files and get behind the scenes sneak peeks of new projects. And be a part of the sponsor section at the end of my videos. Download the Island Fever Augmented Reality app at islandfever.com or search for it on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Check out my courses on Skillshare, 
Gumroad, and Udemy. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube and follow me on social media at Stuck on an Island or going to stuckonanisland.com. All the links in the description below.